Hi everybody, welcome to game number two. Out of the best of five, to decide which player goes through to the main event of the Master of Realms tournament, the most recent pro player S tier tournament from EGC TV. On our call red, we have Lash playing as the Holy Roman Empire. On the color blue, it's 3D Cut playing as the Zhu Shi Legacy, and the map is Archipelago, and I was just commenting with Twitch chat that I really enjoy how this map always spawns differently. I've casted three games on this map, and it, it, the map always looks different. And look, the players have a small pond for themselves. It doesn't have a lot of a lot of fish. There's some shoreline fish. But hey, if you lose water, you can come here real quick. Oh, that's kind of bad for Cat, only two shoreline fishes for himself, right? Lash has a bit more. And uh, thank you for watching. Your support is greatly appreciated. I wish you the best thoughts, ideas, feelings, and emotions, and a whole bunch of individuality, creativity, and responsibility as well. Drip a, drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and use the links down below to follow me on Twitch. Your support is greatly appreciated as well. And also follow Lash on Twitch too, and EGCTV as well, support the community, support yourself. Now, I think every game that I also casted this game, or this match here, this map, I mean, them, it was either Zushi or China versus Holy Roman Empire, right? And uh, I think it's good, a good choice, but I, I just think also players don't want to use other situations here, and they want to use them in other maps, right? Because it was like, English here could be nice, you know, Japanese here could be nice. But I think Japanese, is, Japanese are better on a hybrid map, because this is a water map, a pure water map, where all the focus goes into the water. You don't really can, you can't really, no, I think you can't really attack your enemy by land. You have to go transport ship, and if you don't have water control, your transport ship can just be sniped. Oh, look at the greenies! Look at those fresh greenies! Those veggies getting hungry. And the chickens too! Be careful, bro! The chickens will eat all those veggies if you leave it there. Oh, some good fish too! Yeah, that's a good market. That's a good, healthy market. And also to notice that sometimes players do not spawn with um, stealth forests around them. Like you can see here, Cat has two stealth forests close to his base. Lash has one. But there was again that we casted that the player down south had one stealth forest there and the other player had zero. So I, they actually didn't use the stealth forest in that game, but it can be a difference, right? It can, you can hide your demo ships in there, you know what I'm saying? The enemy can hide their demo ships in there too, right? And then you will never know about it. And uh, yeah, there you go. This map is interesting. I want to see more like more dynamic of island hopping with transport ships, grabbing relics, carrying across, I don't know, five knights into the enemy base and surprise them with that. I didn't see that before in this map because all the resources and all the attention goes into the water, which is like super important. We have so many deep water fish that like you can't really afford to use those couple resources that are, that they seem little, but it's important in the overall story to gain control of the water. Zushi, a great civilization for the water. You start with Imperial Official, you gather more resources, your dogs work faster, your villagers can build those dogs faster. Lash, as the Holy Roman Empire, also collects more resources, but his dogs do not work faster and he cannot build dogs faster as well. Right, so I think Zushi has the advantage. Also, it's very complicated for the Holy Roman Empire to be gathering relics because you have to go out with transport ships and picking up that one, picking up that one over there, and it can be really easy. Your transport ship can be really easy sniped out by the enemy if the enemy has map control or if it just happens to stumble across your transport ship. Mentition Gardens for 3D Cat, in a good spot, you get gold get wood, maybe here you get more gold per minute, but I think he wants as much wood per minute as possible, so building right there is a good location. 7-8 fishing ships for cut, 
seven, oh, nine, actually, for a lash. Because we, we have, okay, we have another dock. So, 11, no, yeah, now 11 fishing ships for cat. And the nine for a lash. Lash being for the second dock as well. A new age begins for 3D cat. And we have a galley already? No. Do you have a galley here? No. So no water military just yet. More fishing is important to keep that food eco pumping. Prelate goes into the Akan. Everybody's buffed and boosted. Ba boost! Spying fishing ship. Here they go. Let's see the vision of our players. You can't use the scouts here, you have to use your fishing boats, but they have as much vision as a scout, I believe. I believe I can fly, I believe I can touch the sky. So yeah, I think great vision here from Cat. And he checks out the enemy and immediately comes back. Okay, I think you just want to know where they are, not what they're doing, because they didn't see much. In that department. Let's see the vision from Lash. Lash. He was about... No, he has his galley. But then he retreats his galley. Right. Now also with the Hulk. Get also going into some water military. Yeah. Cat with more vision. Maybe it will be a good idea. Transport cheap, drop a tower there. Right? Drop a tower here, actually. Or even there if you can. Right? You go really sneaky. You can even, oh no, you can't go around. It's closed. You can't go around. That's true. Okay. But you can drop. Actually, it's super safe. You can drop transport cheap there. But the players don't know. They have no vision, right? And then you walk through there. Drop a tower there. Or even here, and they have plenty of vision on the enemy. Maybe not. Maybe the tower doesn't give you enough vision there, right? Hmm, I'm thinking about some plans to go about this map. Wheelbarrow coming in for both players, and Lash is going forward with no vision, right? He's blind on the water. Oh, Cat could be on the stealth forest there, right? They could surprise the enemy. Lash comes back. He doesn't know what's going on. Lash resumes the attack. Cat is ready to defend. Let's see. Oh, Cat doesn't have a lot of boats in here. It's to be careful. Okay. Both players just formulating their fleet. I think Lash is taking the role of the aggressor. So he needs vision. And really, he doesn't have any vision on the enemy. Shaolin Monastery? What? Already, yeah, so she, I know they have a cheaper... Um, Castle Age, if they stay on the Tang Dynasty, but that was kind of crazy, you know? Damn, son. Alright. How will Lash react? Lash is building up a big fleet, right? Oh, 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 my bad, guys, my bad, guys, my bad. Oh, 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 my mouse is out, is out of control. All right. Let's also see the vision of Lash. Now. 
All right, he's going in. All right. He's going around. He has now vision on the enemy. He knows that cut went fast castle. Not fast castle, but went castle, right? Do we have castle age upgrades? I only see players really not going into the castle age upgrades. Maybe, we, wait, we have armor the whole, right? Ship rights means help of military ships for 20% in range armor by one. I think we, we got reinforced hull. Right? Yeah, they did plus one armor and plus one range. So yeah, this week the fight's way more complicated for Lash. Then our ships are all sniped. Only one remains for Lash. But wait, you go Shaolin Monastery and then what? You grab one relic, right? Then you need a transport ship to go out and grab another relic. I really think some units should be able to swim. Right, imagine the Shaolin Monk, like, swims super slowly, but he does, he swims, he swims, he swims, he grabs the relic, needs to rest a little bit, of course, they have, like, a cooldown before they can swim again, but then they swim again, right? I mean, it's not a big stretch, like, of course, swimming from here to there, they will drown, like, it's too much, but swimming from here to there, I think it will be okay, right? Demo ship's waiting. Ragnis Cathedral, um... On this map, right? Is that a good choice? You really have to Allen hop to grab the relics. Cat is going in. Doesn't want to give time for Lash to breathe. Let's see what Cat sees. Cat, what you see? Nothing. Is he blind? He is blind on the water. Drift nets, that's for la for cat. More efficient shipping or fishing, I mean. He's waiting for the enemy to walk out, I think. He's just getting everything together. Okay, nice fights. Nice damage, I mean. On the fishing ships. All lash. Lash runs away. He's waiting for the upgrades. Armor of the hole is coming through. Alright. Good damage. Who's gonna win this fight? Demo ships will Oh, there is too, too many. Oh, the demo ships didn't move there. Good connections. Nice, nice. Oh, huge damage. But Cat also took some losses. Right? Still no transport ship, one relic for cat. Lash will grab one relic and it will be two actually. Oh, demo ships came from the back. Great play from Lash. You remember he, has, he was hiding his demo here and they brought them to the fight now and did a lot of damage to 3D cat. And the cat brings fishing ships to heal. Good play. Right. Another dock is dropped. By cat, that's already like three, four, five docks. Actually, more. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, extra hammocks increase the number of arrows fired by archer ships by one. So, more arrows. Yeah, no transport ship for both players. So, no relics for anybody. Sixth dock. Or cat. One dock. Two docks. Three docks. Four docks. Five docks. For Lash. Drops the relic on one of the docks. So nobody wants to grab relics? Or just make one transport chip. It's not that much. Right? It's just a hundred wood. Right? Oh, Cat can actually go to Imperial kinda soon if he keeps the Tang Dynasty activated. Oh, Demo Ships gain plus 20 explosion range. Plus 20%. Right. Oh, there you go. 
transport ship. But wait, it doesn't show there. Galley, Hulk, because it's not a military boat. Right, that makes sense. So, can the prelate cross? Can he? It can, it can. All right. So, 3D cat leaving the relics up to grabs for a lash. Grash gra grabs one relic. Two over there. Does Lash know about those relics? He does not. He goes into the stealth forest of the enemy. And now he's gonna snipe the eco. Nice. Demo ships are there. Snipe them, snipe them. Oh, demo, demo. Yeah, good connection, but not a lot of damage. Yikes. Lash is stuck. He can't run. He has to take the fight. And he's, he's in a bad spot. Because the demo ships now come out out of the docks of Cat. Straight into the army of Lash. Right? So. Yeah. And looking good. Lash is he's hanging on. Now he took too much damage. Demo ships popping off. Popping out, I mean. From the docks of Cat as well. And this should be a GG. Lash has two relics, but he needs boats, not relics. Right? Lash has more wood per minute though. Oh, transport ship. Oh, he's going for the sacred site. I thought he was looking for the relic. Yeah, speaking of that, what is the vision of Cat? He knew about that relic, or at least he does that the relic is gone. He doesn't know about these two relics, right? Which have not been... Oh, they're going to be picked up by Lash Temple of the Sun, Imperial Age for Cat. Sacred side captured. Let's go. Lash. Okay, that's one. Can you drop them? Like, you can drop the relics on the floor. Can you drop them on the boat? Then come back and grab the second one. Imperial Ledge is here. Sheep rights, making ships. Cheaper. Now increase the health of voluntary ships by 50%, the range armor by 1. Okay. Then swivel cannon, sprinkle ships gain an additional cannon which fires in 360 degrees. Wait, don't they? Yes! Thunderclap bombs. Warships? Oh, warships, which is the bouch one. Right? Fire a nest of bees. Lash is back! Cat went to Imperial, and now he needs to. Gain time to get all the upgrades, right? Nice demolitions. Swivel cannon up completed. Ship rights completed. So the boats for cat are way better now. You can see more 132 health. And now they can shoot the cannon. Oh, he doesn't show the cannon. Six bow. Right. Oh, there you go. Warp lap. Exp increase damage of incendiary ships like 40%. Thunderclap bombs. That's a Bauschwam. No, there was a Bauschwam, right? There you go. Bauschwam. Which now carries a cannon. Heated shot. Archer ships. Arrow, light enemy ships on fire, dealing damage over time. Nice! Palace of Shabby being rushed by 38 villagers. There we go. Lash is Imperial. Lash is Imperial indeed. A 
Lash is behind though. Ten economical units. Gold on the map. Being collected by 3D Cat. Okay. Cat is moving forward. The Bosch run is looking really good. And they now have a nest of bees in placement. Divine defense gains plus one range. Nice. No. Nope. Bosch runs the lead that fishing ship. And now they can kill docks, right? Very, very quickly. Oh, that was a transport ship with only the prelate, I hope. Prelate wanted to grab that relic. Lash has three relics, so six because of Ragnits, right? Yeah. Great fight here in the middle of the map. Very close to the base of... It's not the middle of the map, right? Very close to the base of Lash. Great demo ship explosion over there. And so many demo ships there not moving from Cat. But Cat is a way bigger army. That's GG. Right? Carrots on the back. Yeah, everything is being... Every demo ship is being sniped. Another, oh, another one! Oh, they took good shots there. They took a lot of ships down. It's important to keep the Bosch ones alive to destroy those docks. Right? GG gets called. Great game from both of these players. Cat takes the win. Cat takes game number two. It's now 2-0. If he wins the next game, he goes through the main event. Thank you for watching, guys. Let's, get, let's go to game number three.